Ecclesiastic, the 12th chapter, verse 1. Remember now the Creator in the days of youth, while the, the evil day cometh not, nor the years draw nigh. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the, or the moon and the star be not darkened, nor the cloud return after the rain. My subject today is, a glory to God, why the youth of today don't believe in God. Why the youth of today does not believe in God. I give a shout out to my wife. A glory to God and my seven children. Glory to God. Why the youth of today don't believe in God. Ecclesiastes show that that we should remember the Creator in the days of youth. There's ten reasons why our youth of today don't believe in God. The one they they search the internet for information about God. This is ten eyes, and some eyes might not be there, but it's there. So they're searching the internet for information about God. You can find God in on the internet. You gotta find God in the Bible or find God through relationship with him. Number two, they are listening to too much intellectual, especially atheists who hate God and his word. They call the Bible fable. They call the Bible fake characters. Paul, let's say Paul is fake, John is fake, Matthew is fake. All these people are fake, but they are real. Number three, they went to college and the interest of God went out the window. Your child was a religious person or had a relationship when they were at home. They went to college, went to Harvard, went to Princeton, went to, to Howard University, went to all those colleges, and now they don't believe in God. Number four, they let vain insight clog their thinking about the past experience about God in their life. When they was going to church, they, they was in Sunday school. When they were in church, they, they prayed every night before they go to bed. All of a sudden, now they went to college, they forget about God. Number five, they let interview dismiss the truth and place theories of men doctrine of mythology. My friend, Guess what? They're copying. They're copying about the resurrection, the 12 disciples. All those things are copied, and their copies are fake. And Jesus Christ is real. Jesus Christ was the only man, the only man I know resurrected on the third day. So the they, they mythology are not real. They are fake. Sixth thing. They let insight, invention, corrupt their morality to be immortal in their lifestyle. They let sin become sinfulness. They turn from truth to error. They turn from 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 being being saint to unsaint. They become saint when it was at home. When they left home, they become ain't. Number seven. They let insult about the Bible become real or calling character fake or fables. Can you imagine? Your child came, your child once believed in God. They went to college, they went to institution, go to God, they went to Bible school, they was they was good in the choir, they, they prayed, all of a sudden they went to college. They listen to some professor as a pagan turned their mind away from God. Ain't nothing but the devil. Hey, yeah, some of these professors are heathens. They are corrupt men. They are heretic. Like this man on, on YouTube video say the Bible is fake. Show me one thing the Bible is fake about. And I stop preaching. Because you can't find nothing. Because the Bible is real. The eighth thing, the youth of today want invention of new things rather than old landmark like Jerusalem or Africa or Ethiopia. Now, do you know which are written in the Holy Text? Do you know that Ethiopia is in the Bible? The Garden, the Garden of Eden, the Garden where Adam and Eve was. My friend, they are, it's in Ethiopia. The four rivers were in Ethiopia. 
So if you don't believe nothing what I'm saying, research and find out that the landmark are Jerusalem, Africa, Ethiopia, and Niger. All those places are in the Bible. So how can you say the Bible is fake? You fake. Atheists are corrupt. Stalling, stalling. He go to God and the man of Germany and kill all the people. Hallelujah. In Germany, billions of Jews. He was an atheist. Even though he's a Catholic, he turned his faith and started hating Christian. You trying to tell me, go to God, that, that God does genocide. I'm telling you, God can kill who you want to kill because he's the maker. He's created. He can kill you. He can kill me anytime. Because God is God. He made us. In him we live and move and have our being. You tell me that God can't kill. Why can't God kill? He's a maker. He's a creator. So God can kill who he even want to kill. He's saying that God do genocide. You don't know what you're talking about. Amen. Number ninth reason. God is wiser than Google. Because men make Google. But God is efficient. He's infinite being. God knows everything. Google don't. Google don't know who God is. Unless Google is programmed by God. Programmed by men. Nobody programmed God. That's why God is sovereign. God can do what he want to do. Say what he want to say. If God can kill you, God can kill you. And my friend, you can't say what God can do. Because God say, I sit before your life and death, blessing and cursing. You choose. You talk about a God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, so God is wiser than Google. Ask Google a question. Google got to be programmed, my man. Google is outskirt in another country. It's not, it's not in America. It's another country, my friend. Heathens. Hey, glory to God. So God is wiser than Google. It's, no, it's not even comparison. It's embarrassing for me to compare Google and God. Because God is wiser than Google. Amen. Hallelujah. And number 10, I'm gone. God is a glory to the invisible. He's an invisible being that can't be contained by time, space, and matter. My friend, God is eternal. Well, I say God is eternal. God is above, beyond. God is is so un. God is so great. If you miss God, my friend, you are atheist. Him. If you miss God, you are agnostic. If you miss God, you are satanist. Because God is too wise to be unknown, too big to be unknown. So time, matter, and space can't contain God. For God is time, God is space, and God beyond matters. Amen. So my, my question is, why the youth of the day don't believe God? Why don't believe God, preacher? Because information, internet, intellectual, interest, insight, Interview, invention, insult, in invention. Amen. Now I have that twice. Inside invention. Amen. And insult, invention. And he is infinite, sufficient, and he's invisible. That's why kids, youth, don't believe in God.